Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. It is Friday night. Uh, August 20th. We are gonna go deal with a drunken monk. Oh, didn't you say last time he'd never see us again? Oh no, he's here. Yeah. Oh, it's you! And he seems to be drinking by himself. I will. Eh, <laughs> what a strange kid! Alright, so we spent time with him. I am busy. Also busy. Okay. It's time to hang out with Fuka. And she may be the uh, the first person. In, she's the first person in a long time where we've actually had. We have a social link with them. Oh, we hung out with Yukari, didn't we? Went to the movies with Yukari. Oh, man. This year's going fast. It's already second semester. Next year, I'll be a senior. Girl. You again. Um, well, uh, I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Same here. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. So, what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? <laughs> You're clearly not drawing nothing, lady. Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. That pin in the back of her hair is amazing. Oh, yeah? I wonder if it's a reference to something. Still, I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? Hmm. All right. Wait, did it say a bunch of stuff about how we need to find out if our dorm mates are interested in bloody bloody blah, 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 blah? No. Not at all? Okay. Fine. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention because I've seen it like 20 times now. What are you doing, Yukari? I'm almost done with my homework. Every year I wish I'd finished my homework in July, but somehow I never actually do it. I bet Junpei hasn't even started. He can beg all he wants, but I'm not going to let him copy off mine. Uh, she's not able to go to the movies. She's busy. My homework's done because... Because look at my status, I am intelligent. Also charismatic and badass. But... I am very close to getting another level. Which is awesome. Probably get it from the next boss fight. So social links, let's check them out. Uh, Fool's level 5. Magician's level 7. That seems so low. Fuka's level 5. Emperor's level 3, and we've... Could we haven't done that in so long. Hierophant's level 9. Lover's only level 1. Chariot's 8. 
We maxed out Treasurer, an online gamer. Fortune's level 2. Strength is level 6. Hanged Man's level 6. Death is level 5. And that's, uh, that's locked in, so that's as far as you can be on this day. Temperance is level, level 6. Devil's level 9. Tower's level 9. Star's level 1. More yet to come. Kenton's joining yesterday was a surprise. I think he wasn't sure how to bring it up. But I'm glad he's looking better now. Focus seems relieved. Since you have Sarasvati, a persona of the Priestess Arcana, you should get along well with Fuka. Would you like to invite Fuka to the film festival? Indeed, I would. You want to go with me? Sure, that sounds fun. I was actually thinking about going because the theme today seems interesting. This will be fun! Okay, it'll be fun. She says it'll be fun. She might be one of those people who just says things are fun when they're to convince themselves. But I don't say she movie theater. Theater's crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme every each day. Today they're showing hard science fiction movies. Oh, have we talked about this? Did, did we talk about this? Did I look this up and think about it during my practice file and we have it? Okay, soft sci-fi versus hard sci-fi. In case you don't know. Um, hard science fiction movies are um, based on what people conceive as a possible future. So, soft science fiction movies have a lot of hand-waving. They're just like, let's just pretend there's a... You know, a world full of aliens and the, you, you know, people have crazy technology and no big deal. Whereas hard science fiction movies are something like 2001, where they kind of thought it was a realistic development of kind of where humans would be. Things, things like that. Uh, good examples of, of, of hard science fiction. Actually, 2001 is actually a really good example bases on the moon and things like that. Uh, travel, you know, over long distances is not kind of done with just hand-waving. Um, things like that. That's the difference. Uh, Arthur C. Clarke was kind of big into some hard... The Rama series I just read is is uh, kind of considered... Uh, at least the first one is considered hard science fiction, I believe. I can't speak to that in truth. Whereas... Some things, some science fiction is a little more fanciful than that. So that's the difference. Hard is realistic science fiction, or at least realistic seeming science fiction. Soft is, uh, you know, I, I don't know, Forbidden Planet. The day the Earth stood still versus the Forbidden Planet. Maybe there, maybe it's that. Maybe that's the answer right there. Because the day the Earth stood still is super. I mean, like there is. There's some hand waving in the alien technology there, but the majority of it's just 1950s America. So anyway, let's just keep going. I don't know. Look it up. Look it up. Look at the difference between hard science fiction movies and soft science fiction movies. But like I said, uh, oh, um, I believe uh, the three body problem is considered a hard science fiction novel. Not that that means anything to most of you, but. Um, it's a great, it's a great book, and this, it, you should read it just for the sequel, because the sequel is so unbelievably good. It is so amazing. Um, the Dark, The Dark Forest is such a good book. You don't have to finish the trilogy, because the third book's not good, but... Okay, hard science fiction movies. I always wonder what they meant by hard science fiction. Oh, she's going to explain it! I just meant... <laughs> so the last time I passed by this theater, I asked the ticket clerk. He said it's science fiction stories that could really happen. Okay, so there we go. I just raved it and raved. So I actually looked it up after she talked about it, apparently. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not very interested in movies where people travel in time or cast spells. There you go. There you go. I'd rather see movies that make you think, ten years down the road, this could happen. Like the way everything around you gets more and more high-tech. That's my favorite kind of sci-fi. Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away. We still haven't seen the movie yet. I hope we can get good seats. Well, we could have if you hadn't spent all the time talking. The movie made you think about the near future. Your charm has increased. Wow, that was amazing. I wonder if our civilization will ever advance that far. Did you see that iron? It got rid of wrinkles in their clothes in half a second. 
you get that much heat out of an iron so quickly, you'd probably have to keep it charged. So it wouldn't have to be with electricity. It could be a gas hybrid. Or maybe they have a totally new energy source. But how would they power the iron with it? Yes, really. So sorry. Movie got me all excited, so I get carried away thinking about it. Let's see another movie together sometime. That okay. That actually is. I know she's all like gasp because like that's not very ladylike. But that's a very attractive reaction for me. For like, if I went to see a sci-fi movie with a girl and that was what she wanted to talk about afterwards, I would be so in love with her. Greetings. Greetings. One week remains until the next full moon appears. Stop going to movies. As expected, the lost are increasing in numbers. Okay. And now we can walk Karamaru with Fuka. Chan seems happy. The movie we saw was fantastic. I'm glad I went. I'm thinking about trying my own all-night movie marathon now. I read DVDs of all the movies I missed out the, on and watched them all back to back. That's the kind of thing you can only do on summer vacation. I seriously spent a summer vacation just watching movies I hadn't seen, and I watched like a hundred of them over the course of like the 90 days. It was ridiculous. I know some days I, I went through three movies. Corchon's covered in dirt. I should let him in the bath with me when we get back. Take a bath with a dog? I guess. You know, he can talk to I guess so if you have any secrets or anything. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, it's Saturday night. What will I do? Study then go to sleep. Because it's Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. Okay, today is Sunday. Oh, dark hour message. Hello. I thought I'd remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? Only a few trials remain. So, be careful. I look forward to seeing you again. Alright! Creepy, mysterious kid. So creepy. So, we have one week till the full moon. Wait, the full moon's on a Sunday? Well, okay then. No, all right. Uh, Tanaka should be selling something. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the home shopping, to the home shopping show. Tanaka's amazing commodities. Right of your desires. Uh, I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. Show you great items at unbeatable prices, though you won't be able to touch the dial. Item of the day. Varuna Bracers! Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. But wait, there's more! Throw two veggie supplement for 17,800 yen. Yeah, you definitely, you, you want to purchase Varuna ba Bracers. If I remember correctly what it does... Uh, that, that's it for today, we're all sold out. Sorry, folks. I think any, uh, see you next Sunday, same time, same channel. There's a series of bracers that will uh, amp up elemental attacks, and you want them for at least some of your people. Uh, certainly, I would go with uh, Akihiko and Mitsuru. Definitely need them. Because they're always going to be using their elemental attack. You're always going to have them in, in your party in some fashion or another. And I believe Varuna Bracer is the 
the one you want for Mitsuru? I think. We're going to see when we get him. But anyway. Doesn't matter because we're going to go talk to her anyway. I'm using my controller that can't go down. So this is what happens when I hold down. I mean, it can if, I, if, I'm, if I'm careful about it. But I, I got to use the, uh, the directional buttons to go down. Otherwise, sometimes I get this. Yeah, this is me holding down. I, I don't know what it is that this game frizzes out with the analog stick holding down for this thing. But it does. I haven't had a free day in some time, but it's here at last. It's inevitable when one has a month off that there will be at least one day with a clear schedule. Hmm, what should I do? Seems to be free. Today. Would you like to invite her to the film festival? Yes! Hmm, the movies. I just remembered that I received VIP tickets from a distributor. I think I'll make use of them. Alright, let's go. Love you, Mitsuru. Alright. <clears throat> Theater's clouded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme every day. Today they're showing classic romances, which is wonderful. It's just wonderful that the hero and Mitsuru are going to classic romances. This will be my first time seeing a straightforward love story. Should be an interesting experience. Shall we enter? We've seen many kinds of love. <laughs> like, as well as how to find love. My academics increased. Not my charm. My academics. Wrap your head around that. What was that last one? Eternal love? Isn't it quite a, co quite a coincidence for the man to find her when he had no idea where she was? Why would he wait until the last moment to announce that he's secretly a prince? Just saying, I, I wasn't able to tell you is poor storytelling. It's a crucial piece of information. And the ending, it stopped right where the prince and the woman settled down. What about after that? If they had shown the real life of royalty, I assure you it wouldn't have been a happy ending. It would not. It would definitely have not been a happy ending. It didn't show the most difficult parts. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so critical of the movie you wanted to see with me. I just couldn't help but compare it to my own life. I suppose I enjoyed it on some level since it was since I was able to relate to the character so strongly. Super seems a little embarrassed. Seems she seems little embarrassed, by the way. I don't know why. They really... I, I haven't caught a lot of translation mistakes or, or writing mistakes in this game. Uh, except in this marathon, we've caught like three. You decided to go back to the dorm with Mitsuru. Okay. Mitsuru does not like classic romance. Hello. Hello. Have I noticed? Those people the lost, they've been increasing. Wish there was something I could do. Yeah, but I don't care, Ken. <laughs> like... Sorry. Alright. Sunday. Koromaru wants to walk. Go with us tonight. We'll go with Mitsuru. Koromaru looks happy when he's here. It must be something akin to the hometown for him. I said some things earlier today, but now that I've had time to calm down and think about it, today's movie did have its charms. Does it seem out of character for me to say something like that? I spoke quietly with Mitsuru. What, are you satisfied already? Well then, let's go home. Alright! One left. Uh, I, no, I am, wait, am I busy? I mean, I've got to check, like, what, we're on the 7th. Am I, am I hanging out with this guy? I'm not dating anybody. Nope. No, we're good. I'm sorry, I'll see you at school then. I'm sorry, I'll see you at school then. Okay. Oh, really? People. Ooh, Fuka! Ah, oh, I'd love to date you, Fuka, but, uh, I can't. 
I, I really can't. I mean, I know I favor the ladies, but... The ladies are the only ones you can give gifts to and really amp your, your point value with them. Okay, sorry for calling out of the blue. You could have knocked. Okay. So today is the last day of summer vacation as well as the last day of the film festival. And when we come back, that. Bye, everybody.